Okay, one of the welcome additions to Android 2.2 is being able to update all of your apps automatically and all at once. So you don't have to go through them each and every one, each every time there's a new update that comes down the pike. So what you want to do to do this, uh, sometimes you'll get an, uh, a, a notification up top that uh, you have several updates you need to do. I have, I don't know, about 10 or so I need to do. I've been saving them for this. We're going to go to Downloads. And you see the button on the bottom that says Update All. We're going to hit that because I've got a bunch of updates that need to need to be done. There's about, I don't know, about 8 to 10 of them. So I'm going to hit Update All. And there's some permissions that changed. Let me read that to you. Permissions have changed for two of nine apps with updates available. Press OK to update seven apps with no permission changes. Please open remaining apps from the downloads list to approve new permissions and start update. So you can do these auto updates just as long as the permissions are all the same. If any of the permissions have changed, then like I said, like I read here, you have to uh, go in there and reauthorize it. That's a good security measure just to make sure that, you know, there's no programs that are going to be, you know, taking advantage of the auto update. So we're going to hit OK on this and it should update all of these seven apps. And I will probably speed this up for your viewing pleasure. All right, now you'll see here that Yelp and Urban Spoon need a manual update. So let's click on those to see what, uh, if it gives us any flagging, if it flags any changes or anything like that. So, let's see. All right, we're going to update it. Okay, it has access to my location, storage network communication, and hardware controls. It allows uh, use of the camera. That's fine, sounds good. We're going to update that. And once that's done, we're going to try and see what Urban Spoon wants to change on the permissions there. Now both Yelp and Urban Spoon are very reputable, you know, apps, so I'm not too worried, but it's good to go through this once in a while just so you don't give a blanket, you know, so you don't give blanket permissions to any app that uh, might want to use stuff on your phone because you do have sensitive information on your phone you just don't want getting out. So let's see, we're going to update this and let's see what it changes. It has access to my location, my network, network communication, services that cost me money, so direct call phone numbers, hardware controls, phone calls, and system tools. Interesting. We'll allow that and download that. So basically this just gives you the option of not having to sit there and manually update each one of them. You can update them all. Now that the permissions have been updated, if uh, you know any of the, the apps that I've downloaded, such as Urban Spoon and Yelp, if they, uh, as long as their permissions didn't change, I'm good to go on that. So that's another addition to Android 2.2, which is very cool. And it streamlines the operating system, makes things easier. And that's always good to hear. Okay, one other interesting thing I discovered after downloading Android 2.2 is in the messaging app. Uh, this is uh, for text messaging. I'm just going to go to Type to Compose. Now, a lot of the times you'd have to click on this uh, question mark 123 to get a lot of your punctuation. But uh, for periods, question marks, commas, things like that, there's actually a period here, but for question marks, commas, at signs, uh, you can actually now, let me show you. If you put a word in here, such as uh, from, 
and then press space. It now gives you the option for exclamation point, question mark, let me pull that closer. Exclamation point, question mark, comma, at sign, and underscore. Which is really cool, that way you can just throw a comma in there and make it a lot quicker than actually having to go to the one, two, three over here and then find the comma and then go back. So again, another thing on Android 2.2 that streamlines it, makes things easier, and we all like to hear that.